Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be talking about the 1954 Canadian one-cent coin, um, going over the values, information, history, mintage, and more, really everything you need to know, but briefly wrapped up and quick. Um, and in terms of the portrait, we always talk about that going ahead. It's the, uh, you know, the Queen Elizabeth II, who's been reigning since 1952, uh, and that was when she was 27 years old, surrounded by Elizabeth II de Gratia Regina, which means Elizabeth II, Queen by the Grace of God, and that was engraved by Mary Gillick. The back of the coin was done by George Kruger Gray and shows the maple leaf, uh, maple leaf twig, which is really the emblematic design of the Canadian coinage, um, and just a, a very cool uh, kind of classic world coin. Um, the Canadian dollar still circulates today, but they phased out the pennies in the early 2010s. Uh, so you would it would be kind of difficult to spend this in circulation. People really wouldn't want them. Prices are to the nearest five cents most of the time. So um, they're really being removed from circulation. And they're worth a little bit more, right? Because the Canadian dollar is worth less than the US dollar in general. So this is going to be worth you know, less than one cent US dollar if you go to spend it. The specific design, this was towards the beginning of it. It was from 1953 to 1964 before they redid the portrait on the front of the coin. It's a bronze coin with an alloy of 98% copper, 0.5% tin, and 1.5% zinc. It weighs 3.24 grams, has a diameter of 19.05 millimeters, and a thickness of 1.65 millimeters. And um, the mintage is going to be 22,181,760. So it's one of the lower mintage ones and in uncirculated condition, uh, you can probably sell for about 20 bucks, which is a little bit more than normal. Um, in general though, it's going to be worth maybe, you know, 10, 20 cents, something like that. Um, and there is a fold on the shoulder versus no fold on the shoulder variety. I don't know it super well, but that's going to be found on the front of the coin. And it's really just a, a weak relief on the dies. And, um, you know, you want to look in the eye. If it's pointing right at identical, um, then it's the shoulder fold. And this is pointing right at identical. It's in line. If it's not, um, then, you know, then it's uh, the denticles are these little things around the edge of the coin. If it's not, then it's the no shoulder fold. But uh, it's not a huge difference here. But it's something good to look out for as well. So, um, you know, for this, really just going to be worth like 10, 15 cents. Like I said, um, nothing too crazy here. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Christian, the founder of the Coin Dictionary Project, and I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and check out my other channel, Treasure Town, and subscribe to that as well. If you're interested in supporting the channel financially, there are links below that are mostly affiliate links where you can purchase something you probably would have been buying anyways, and by going through my link when you buy, there will be a kickback directly to the Coin Dictionary Project that will help support its operations. Hope to see you on some of my other videos, as well as on my channel, Treasure Town.